Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell. And today we are talking about traveling with curly hair. And I'm not talking about you like going places with your curls because clearly they're gonna go wherever you go. But I'm talking about what you wanna take with you when you're traveling and you have curly hair. I'm gonna show you my travel bag um, and the things that I think are most important for my hair care while I am abroad. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, you know the drill, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure to turn on the bell so that you are notified when I upload videos here on YouTube. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in to this video. many things that I love to travel with and this actually has nothing to do with hair this has to do with who I've partnered with today and that is perfume dossier is partnering with me on today's video you guys know that I am obsessed with dossier perfumes I love designer fragrances but I do not like the price tag I'm pretty cheap I'm definitely more on the cheap side when it comes to spending money on perfume but I do love to smell good and I'm all about testing out new fragrances so you guys already know dossier is a luxury luxury inspired perfume company. You can actually get the same exact designer fragrances that you know and love for up to 90% off of the retail cost that you would pay for that designer name brand by going to Dossier and getting their fragrances. I'm telling you, they're amazing. These fragrances last so well on the skin. This might be TMI, but I don't always wash my clothes after one wear. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but when I spray my perfume from Dossier, on my shirt or my jacket or anything. I will wear that item and then when I go to reach for it again in a couple of weeks, it still smells like the perfume, you guys. It is incredible how long these fragrances last. That's one of the reasons why I continue to go back to this company because number one, I get to save money. Number two, their fragrances are quality. All of these fragrances are sourced from a town in the French Riviera. And if you don't know, the French Riviera is actually known as the uh, perfume capital of the world. So they are sourcing their fragrances from the best of the best. These are the two fragrances that I got this month. I've got Florian vanilla. I love anything that has a little bit of a vanilla scent to it. And then I also got spicy orchid and this definitely, I don't know how to describe it, but it definitely has like a little bit of a spicy scent to it. And when you get these fragrances, they also come with a little tester sample perfume. That way you can test it out. And if you don't like it, you can send it back for a different one or for a refund. I love that they come with this because I always throw these in my purse and then I always can travel with whatever scent I'm using at the moment. And each perfume comes with an insert that tells you all about that perfume. It has all the notes in it. And it also tells you what the perfume is inspired by. So the Floriental Vanilla that I got is actually inspired by YSL Black Opium Perfume, which is one of my all-time favorite designer fragrances. So I love that I can get it at Dossier for a fraction of the cost. So if you like to smell good and you like to save money, then definitely check the description box. I'll have everything linked there. Check out all the designer-inspired fragrances that they have. They have so many to choose from. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much, Dossier, for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. Now let's jump into my travel bag. This is the bag that I travel with everywhere. First of all, I love this bag. I don't even remember where I got it from, but it's just so handy. Here is what the bag looks like. Um, all of this stuff is like my toothpaste, perfumes, um, uh, uh, skincare and all of that stuff. And down here is where I keep all of my hair stuff. I'm gonna go through everything that I have in this little compartment because these are the things that I cannot go without when I'm traveling. Now, if I was traveling just say overnight or for two days, then I might not need all of this. What I typically like to do when I'm traveling with my curly hair, I like to wash and style my hair the day before. That way I have fresh hair to start and then I don't have to really worry about washing my hair um maybe at all it just depends on where i'm going or what i'm doing this is like if you're traveling for a week if you're you know traveling abroad or whatever and listen i know covid is still a thing so a lot of us still aren't traveling i still have not traveled since before covid which really sucks but I am hopeful that things are going to start looking up and that everyone will start to uh, be able to travel a little bit more this year fingers crossed prayers going up. Here is what I typically take. First of all, 
I can't travel without a shower cap. I don't wash my hair very frequently at all, maybe once a week. Um, now, if I'm going to the beach or something like that, I might have to wash my hair a few times just because it might get a little salty and nasty, but a lot of times I'll keep my hair in uh, braids or in a bun or something like that when I'm at the beach. I always, always travel with my shower cap. That way I can just pop it over my hair and I don't have to worry about getting my hair wet or restyling or any of that. As far as tools, all I use are these two right here. So I have my detangling comb. This comes in handy when I go to wash my hair and I need to comb through any tangles with conditioner in my hair. This is of course what I use to kind of pick out my hair, get big hair. Um, I can kind of zhuzh it up and just make my hair look better. I always, always, always take my spriggle pick wherever I go. Now, I forgot, this tool is something that I always take with me. This is optional, but I like to take this in case I'm doing any type of slick back style. Like I said, if I'm going to the beach or something, a lot of times I will end up putting my hair in braids or in a slick back bun because my hair just gets a little funky when it's really, really humid. So I like to use this brush right here. This is actually like a teasing brush, but it actually works really good for smoothing out any flyaways so I always carry this with me as well also great for teasing if you really want to get some more volume in your hair I always bring a tiny shampoo and conditioner just in case I need to wash my hair if I am traveling for a week or so then I do like to wash my hair at least once while I'm gone you know I always bring a detangling spray with me especially if I'm going to the beach or something like that because I always need a detangling spray to make sure that there's no tangles in my hair if I'm getting Getting out of the water, I always have a refresher uh, detangling spray on hand. Um, so this is essential to my travel routine. This is from Which I Love Your Hair. I like this one because you can use it as a detangling spray. You can use it as a refreshing spray. You can kind of use it for a multitude of things. So I like kind of a multi-purpose product for this. As far as styling products, I do like to bring a styling cream and a styling gel. These are essential in my travel bag. I like to use a styling cream whenever I need uh, a little extra definition, a little extra moisture. I never go without gel because typically I do need that extra hold in my hair. I always, always, always put a cream and a gel in my travel bag. The next thing that I have to have on hand is a dry shampoo. So I can't go without this. This helps to give my hair volume. It helps to soak up any oils when I need to. Helps to extend my wash when I need to. So a dry shampoo goes everywhere with me. And again, just make sure that you're getting travel sizes of all of these things. And then you're not taking up a ton of space. The next thing I bring is a hair oil. I love using an oil to help seal in moisture. I love using an oil to break the cast in my hair. I love using an oil for a multitude of things. And then the last product that I have to have in my travel bag is a hairspray. You never know when you're going to need that extra hold and just to keep hair in place. So I always carry a hairspray and this is also a really good way to get extra volume. I'll just kind of spray it through, lift my uh, layers and just kind of zhuzh up my hair. I don't always use a hairspray in my hair, but when I'm traveling, I like to be as prepared as possible for any situation. If you have curly hair, then you know curls can be very unpredictable. So I like to have everything that I could ever possibly need in my travel bag. That way I'm not caught off guard and my curls will always look their best. Also, one last thing that I almost forgot is this little bag right here. This is just like a little baggie that I put in there. This just has a few of the hair accessories that I feel like I always, always need. So it's got a little alligator clip. Depending on what I'm doing with my hair, this is something that definitely comes in handy. I always bring a silk or satin scrunchie to put my hair up in the evenings. I do like to bring like a little rubber um, hairband. That way when I'm working out, I can pull my hair out of my face. I always bring an Invisibobble. You guys know this is like my go-to when I'm doing a messy bun. I love using this. And then just some like bobby pins. These are all the little hair accessories that I bring. Obviously that's gonna look different for everyone, but I thought I would show you this as well. And there you have it. This little pack right here is where all of my hair stuff is. I know it seems like a lot of products, but it's really not. As long as you're getting the travel sizes, um, it's not gonna take up much space. I promise you my skincare stuff takes up way more space than what my hair stuff does. So that is it for this video. I really hope that it was helpful and I hope that you guys get to travel some this year as well as myself. Uh, we've been trying to go to Hawaii for two years now and thanks to COVID, it just keeps getting pushed back. So hopefully that's where we'll be going at some point this year. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.